Hey guys, Dave and Alex here from the Hyperspace Vault. Thank you for joining us. And as you know, Hasbro had their Hasbro Pulse Fan Fest on Friday, and there was a bunch of reveals, and we're going to cover the Star Wars reveals in this video. So up first, uh, we're going to take a look at the Black Series. Now, no huge surprises here. These were all announced figures that were in the last live stream they did with the Pipeline releases, and we get to see the actual figures uh when they unveiled them today. All right, first up is Cosca Reeves from The Mandalorian Season 2, uh, Bo-Katan's uh, partner. A uh, really awesome looking figure. Now it's basically just a Bo-Katan repaint, but the steel, the, the colors are really good looking on this figure. The face sculpt looks really good. Um, really nice likeness to Sasha Banks there. Yeah, it's really cool. I like the face app, the face paint applications, and there's a picture of, uh, of Costco Reeves in the packaging. Nice that they haven't gotten rid of the bubble yet. Hopefully, they never will. Yeah, this will be a nice addition to the Mandalorian series of figures, and uh, go really nicely with Bo-Katan. You can see uh, she comes with the same accessories as Bo-Katan: two uh, Mandalorian blasters and that jetpack. And, um, yeah, the paint apps look really good on this figure. Alright. Next up we have... Aura Singh. Now, this figure is, uh, from the Clone Wars. Even though she has been in, uh, many other types of media from Star Wars. And I gotta say, looks pretty cool. The faint... The face applications, the... The photo reel is showing really well here. And she comes with that long cycler rifle blaster, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that thing looks huge. And um, she has these really long fingers, so they especially sculpted those fingers to uh, be able to hold that weapon. And there she is in her packaging with that uh, kind of yellowish color for the Clone Wars. Yeah, really a uh, nice looking figure for the Clone Wars. And then here you can see the side are pretty good. Yeah, the side art looks good. Um, I don't see any other um, um, any other characters on that side art, so um, yeah, no just, hints about yeah, no about hints who's of coming anything. yet. All right, next up we have Tech from uh, the Bad Batch, and this finishes up the Bad Batch figures. This is the last one, I believe. All the others have uh, been revealed, and uh, looks pretty cool. I like this one. Yeah, I think Tech is probably one of my favorite Bad Batch characters, and to see that they're finally making a figure of him is amazing. I can't wait to uh, get him, because uh, look at all that detail right there. He actually has different armor than all of them all. Well, they all have different armor. But uh, look at the paint applications and the texture detailing that you can see went into this. And there he is in his packaging, and he has a removable helmet, which is pretty cool. Yeah, and there, there's the Bad Batch uh, color on the box is like a dark, kind of like a maroon or crimson red. Looks really cool. And I actually can't wait for that um, the new season of the Bad Batch on Disney Plus May 4th on uh, Star Wars Day. So that'll be really cool. Something to look forward to. Yeah, seeing the Bad Batch back in action. Alright, next up we have General Lando Calrissian. And this was one I'm actually kind of looking forward to because uh, we haven't we don't really get that many we didn't really used to get that many Return of the Jedi figures in uh, phase 3 and now we're getting a bunch in phase 4 and I can't wait to add General Lando to the collection look at that right there it looks so cool with all the paint applications and detailing and look they even hid the uh, the joints yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. This is the one I was looking forward to the most. I'm really happy to finally have a General Calrissian in the Black Series. And that cape, Soft Goods cape, looks amazing. And I like all the colors here. The blue the blue cape and his pants and the tan uh, Rebel officer uniform shirt. That looks really cool. Yeah, and there's a side art right there, which looks amazing. Again, no hints at what's next, at least that I can see. And that new Lando head sculpt looks pretty good, even in the Hasbro promo photos, which is yeah. uh, unusual. 
All right, and here we next up have Zero from the Mandalorian. He is a protocol droid. Yeah, really cool to see a droid coming into the Black Series line because there's not enough droids or aliens in the Black Series line. So this is a really nice addition, uh, again, to the Mandalorian series. Uh, there's the box art, and uh, yeah, nice looking figure. He comes with a uh, Boba Fett style blaster, like the EE3. Yeah. Is that what it's called? And yeah. there's the side art of the box. Pretty cool right there. And I really like how he has all those straps on him and everything. This one will be a really cool one to pick up. Yeah, looking forward to that one. Alright, so that is it for the Black Series. And now we're going to move on to the Vintage Collection. Yeah, a lot of Vintage Collection uh, reveals at um, Hasbro Fan Fest. Um, uh, first up, we're going to have a repack wave, which um, I'm really looking forward to. This repack wave looks good. All right, here we have Luke Skywalker in his Hoth uh, clothing or suit or clothes, whatever you want to say. But I got to say, it looks really cool. Obviously, it's a repack, and he has, like, that little thing that goes over his head that's, like, whenever he was riding the Tauntaun and everything. It's real cool. His head looks a little small to me, and I wish they would have uh, worked on that. Yeah. Uh, and there is the card right there. It's pretty cool. It's him on the Tauntaun. Yeah, when he, when he said, I think Patrick said that this is a Luke we haven't seen in a long time. My first thought was Farm Boy Luke. We're finally getting a new Farm Boy Luke in the Vintage Collection. Yeah. But uh, this is just as good. The Hoth Luke is really cool. One of my favorites. So I was kind of let down when it wasn't Farm Boy Luke. But, um, okay, next up we have Han Solo. Now this one's kind of, uh, I mean, this the, it looks good. Nice update to this one. But this is probably like one of the most common vintage collection figures you see out there on the secondary market in different stores and stuff is the trench coat indoor Han. I mean, we see this figure virtually everywhere. So it's, it's kind of puzzling to me that why they're redoing this one now. And yeah. to me, the coat looks off. The colors, it might be just the photos, but the coat looks, the trench coat looks gray to me. Yeah. It doesn't have the greenish color that it should. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, it's one of the most common figures that you always used to see. Now you don't really see it anymore because there's always newer ones. But next up, we have Admiral Akbar. Um, and this is actually a pretty good figure, I gotta say. Just look at the head sculpt. And this is, again, a repack. It's uh, an, an old figure. It came out a few years ago, I'm pretty sure, in the Black Series line of 3.75. And there is the card back right there of the original... Uh, Admiral Akbar that came out all the way back then and it looks pretty cool I gotta say and there he is in his blister pack he comes with two accessories that little tablet thing right there yeah the Black Series figure should have came with that I think instead of a blaster okay next up we have the uh, Emperor's Royal Guard uh, now this is really cool this is the one I'm really looking forward to because this is a very expensive uh, vintage collection figure on the secondary market I think it goes for like uh, close to $100 or maybe even more on eBay. And it gets a photo reel update on the head. head. Uh, looks really cool here. They also have altered the um, uh, the gown or the red uh, you know suit. I don't know what you call it. But they've uh, updated that for it fits better on the figure. And look at that card back. That card back is just awesome. Yeah, this is one you definitely want to get. Unless you're not like a hardcore vintage collection uh, collector. This is definitely one you'd want to get two of. One to keep on card and one to open if you don't already keep every one on card that you get and you're an inbox collector. Alright, next up, uh, the Vintage Collection. They announced a subline for the Vintage Collection in Gaming Greats. And I was kind of um, disappointed with their announcements. Basically, they just cloned what the Black Series has already gotten. So there's no unique figures here. Yeah. Um, first up, we have the heavy um, battle droid. Yeah, one that we've already gotten in the Black Series before, which uh, I don't think we really needed in the Vintage Collection, because didn't we just get a battle droid in the Vintage Collection? At least a re-release of one? Yeah, recent, yeah, back a few waves back, I think we did. And the card looks awesome now. that It has a Battlefront 2 uh, logo on the bottom of the card. And it's not, it's not just a random picture of a battle droid. I would have much rather seen a character from uh, Battlefront 2, maybe um, 
Shriv or somebody like that. But next up we have the Shadow Stormtrooper from The Force Unleashed on uh, PS3 and Xbox 360, I think. But yeah, this one is another one we've gotten in the Black Series. Personally, one of my favorites, I think. This is probably my favorite of the ones they've announced for the Vintage Collection Gaming Greats. And I just love how they made it clear on some parts. And they're using the new Vintage Collection Stormtrooper mold, which again is one of the best parts. And look at that card. That is such a cool card right there. Yeah. All right, next up we have the Scout Trooper um, from uh, Jedi Fallen Order with the uh, Purge stick. Electro Staff thingy. Yeah, Electro Staff, yeah. That's what I was trying to think of. Or Electro Baton. Again, um, an older figure, but repacked with the, these accessories from Jedi Fallen Order, and the card looks absolutely amazing. That's a really cool-looking card back. Yeah, I think I really like it. We don't... Uh... We didn't, we didn't really get a Scout Trooper from a long time. But next up, we have a Electro Staff Purge Trooper, again from Jedi Fallen Order. And this one is really cool, I think. Even though uh, you can tell that some of the parts are from older figures. Um, yeah, I believe it's a old the old uh, clone body sculpt on that. Yeah, and I gotta say, the car back looks pretty cool as well on that one. Yeah, I love that purple. It looks really good on that card back. Yeah. All right, next up we have uh, the biggest surprise for me of the day was, uh, of course, they announced a Rogue One, the fifth anniversary. They're going to be doing some stuff for Rogue One this year. And this was the biggest surprise for me. And I'm really looking forward to this. And it is Blue Leader uh, X-Wing from Rogue One. Now look at that. That looks amazing. The paint apps uh, that they did on this X-Wing look really good yeah i really like it they they added like a dirt wash kind of thing to it where it doesn't look like it's just like brand new out of the factory but i gotta say one of the most disappointing things about this x-wing is that it's not a new one they use the uh the luke skywalker x-wing which uh the wings don't fold out all the way they they're just kind of folded out and they don't do it all the way yeah i'm hoping i'm hoping that maybe they have done some work to that and maybe Maybe they have uh, revised that a little bit and made this uh, X-Wing a lot better, but um, I doubt it. Uh, it's probably just the same X-Wing. Well, you know it's the same X-Wing, but um, it's probably the same mechanism and they haven't reinforced it or anything. So here is a General Merrick that comes with the figure. I mean, comes with the ship on card. So uh, the only way you can get this figure is if you buy the X-Wing and he's going to be on card. So that's going to be a real... He looks great here too, but that's going to be kind of a controversy... If you buy this, are you going to keep him on card? You have to open him to put him in the X-Wing. So, And there's no way yeah. to get two unless you buy two X-Wings. So Patrick, that's, that's the only bad part about this. And Patrick did state that they have no plans of selling it elsewhere. So, yeah, you better get one while you still can. Yeah, and the ship should have came with the droid, and then he should have been in a, in a wave coming up. And okay, next, go ahead. Next up, we have probably one of the best reveals and it's a uh, wedge is a helmet wedge antilles and this is really cool i really like this obviously it's a repaint of luke's x-wing but if you look right there you can see we finally get the color of a new hope and it's kind of like the mandalorian kind of like a copper orange color yeah that was kind of puzzling to me why it would be so close to mandalorian but uh, i was expecting maybe a uh, purple or you know some other color other than this uh, but uh, anyways all right so here is the recap of the black series figures please let us know down below which one you're looking forward to i'm looking forward to general calrissian the most and also the um um uh, the Co costco reeves figure looks pretty cool too here's the vintage collection recap i think the one i'm most excited for here is either the Imperial Royal Guard or the Shadow Stormtrooper. Definitely looking forward to the Emperor's Royal Guard. That is our my number one pick from this uh, set of figures. Looks awesome. And then here is the X-Wing, which I'm lo really looking forward to. The Blue Leader X-Wing from Rogue One with General Merrick. Yeah. Looks really cool. Really awesome. Can't wait to get this one. Also, they, they said that they have updated the... Uh, Deco in the cockpit on this X-Wing. 
So that'll be something to look forward to. All right, guys, that wraps up this video. Tell us down below what you're looking forward to the most. And please be sure to like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And also, again, leave us a comment down below. Alex, take us out. May the force be with you always.